become the sides then. Oldershot Town, led out by Aaron Jones back in the side and skippering the side tonight in the absence of Ollie Harfield. Let's run through uh, the Aldershot Town team this evening. In goal, Marcus Dewhurst, back three of many ace, Maghoma and Bird. Wing backs on the left, Ryan Jones, and on the right, Aaron Jones, the captain. Midfield, some sort of trio combination of Hargreaves, Theo Widrington and Tetek. Uh, and then uh, Hadi Gandor and Jack Barham up top for the shots. All right, we're just about ready to go here at the EBB. It's very nearly 7.45. Tuesday night under the lights, shots once again at home to the league leaders. Tonight it's Barnett. They've won the ball already, and it's Jack Barham, and he's beaten one play, he's got his head down. Bit of traffic now, Hardigan gets a foot in, but Hargreaves sends it out to the left, and it's sent back in, and now Barnett will get it clear only falls to Ryan Jones he's got a point to prove I'm sure tonight he started the season in that left wing back spot and uh, there were quite high expectations based on his showing in pre-season which was superb at times here's Dewhurst with a long ball straight down the middle Gandor chasing uh, he, he couldn't quite pick it up and now he's, he's got it and he might try a shot from distance he does it's on target inside the second minute nice and easy one for nick hayes quickly takes the throw to theo widrington and uh, can't control it shelton's got it kabamba's been dispossessed might be just lacking a bit of pitch uh, match sharpness ball down the side looking for gandor he's got away from his marker can he square it to a shots player no it's cleared away by barnett only as far as theo widrington uh, exchanges passing with Hargreaves, follow-up shot is just dragged wide. And if he could just find that little bit of composure in front of goal. We, we know there's goals in those boots, Steve Gibbs. We saw them in pre-season. Yeah. Um, lovely bit of attacking intent from Theo Widrington, just sadly lacking the finish. Barnett have the ball, just working it across the middle at the moment. Good evening to Gina Ballston and Ellie watching on the stream tonight and uh, Ellie staying up to follow as well past her bedtime of course there's a smart sharp turn for many A's but he's lost it and Barnett have got it recovery tackle shot comes in oh saved by Dewhurst onto the bar and cleared away and it looked as though the shots might have gone behind there but enough of a save from Dewhurst and then the uh, crossbar came to the rescue as it did for York on Saturday. Absolutely, yeah, an excellent save from Marcus, and he got enough on it that it ricocheted off the uh, off the, the meat of the front of the post. If it had been the inside of the post, it would probably deflected over the line, but there was enough of a deflection that it rebounded out, and Lockie Bird was in ha on hand to make another clearance. But it looks as though the bus stop queue is forming in the middle for a ball in. In it comes, heads up. Who's got the touch there? Well, it doesn't really matter because Nick Hayes has clasped it off the head of Jack Parham and he'll kick now from the edge of his area out to the right side. Tetex back there, but he's going to be beaten to it by Bailey Hobson. The former Chesterfield player. He's in a foot race with uh, a lot of shot of, of one it at the back and then a heavy challenge from Ryan Glover. And that's incensed the shots fans at the far end we mentioned uh, we mentioned a little bit earlier that he got a good reception from the north stand but uh, football fans are very fickle and they're calling for Garber to be sent off now I don't think they'll get it no. it's a yellow at best and it is a yellow it is a yellow and I think about right it was it was heavy and late from Ryan but and the intensity of the game as often happens now as Mark White says in these frantic National League games sometimes the speed of the play is quicker than the quality of the the players on it there's a ball down the line can it be kept in it can it's squared in and brilliantly headed away by Roland many ace he finds Hargreaves Hargreaves gets it under control by the corner flag but he can only clear it as far as Tavares Tavares back to Hartigan Barnett working it inside now to Shelton tries the little ball outside is there an offside against Glover not given comes back to Glover he's got it again down by the corner Back to Tavares. What's Tavares going to do? Approaches the edge of the area. 
comes back to Hartigan. Barnett enjoying a good spell of possession. 25 minutes gone, still goalless here at the EBB. There's a ball forward. Barnett got it under control. Appeals for an offside, not given. Cross into the right hand side and buried the header by Nicky Kabamba. His first start and he scores in the 26th minute. All the shot down, nil, Barnett won. Yeah, he can't afford to allow Nicky Kabamba that space at the far post. The ball went over the last man's head. I'm not sure if it was Aaron Jones at that back post, but the cross was over his head and then Kabamba did exactly what every good striker does. Punch the header down, back across goal. Marcus Dewhurst had no chance and it looks like he's been given a yellow card for his troubles as well. Possibly complaining about, uh, about something in the build-up, but that's going to count for naught. It's shots nil, Barnett won. Barnett won. And Barnett on the back of the record of seven wins and three defeats so far this season. Good ball down the left side to Carnu. He's uh, onside. Oh, Aaron Jones goes in. He mistimes the tackle horribly, and it's going to be at least it's red. It's straight red for Aaron Jones. He was out of control with the challenge, and the referee, Oliver Mackey, has deemed it to be a red card offence. Well, nothing's given. But Ryan Jones is there and onto the ball. Lovely little chop inside and then a ball out to the left for Gandor. An order shot might get Barnett two on two here. Gandor against Kenlock coming inside. Holding the ball up now. Going to try a shot left footed. And it's just wide of Nick Hayes' dive to the left. Applause from all in the north stand and Tommy Widrington. Great run from Gandor. Held it up well. Did well to get a shot away and just wide of the marks. Alfie Rutherford. Oh, you don't need him, you don't need him. <laughs> I, I, I'll say one thing, um, I'm a massive Dean Brennan fan, huge, but he's leaving all the shot in the game here. Um, another free kick to all the shot. And I don't think it's going to be anything more. I think he's been booked. Right. It's Glover who's committed the foul, he's already on a yellow. The crowd are baying for a red. I. I thought it was a possible yellow, if I'm honest. Um, but thank you, Joe. Here's a long throw from Ryan Jones to the edge of the air. It's headed up in the air by Barnett, headed away, headed on, and only finds Cameron Hargreaves, who sends it back out to Ryan Jones. He's going to send another ball back in. Headed down by Barham. And I'm not sure whether he was trying to head it down into the path of someone or head towards goal, but it was down and wide. Can order shot just fashion one more chance? We're into the final of the four added minutes. Back to Dewhurst. Now the long ball through the middle. Looking for Mag Homer. He can't win it. Uh, Kizzy heads it into path of Brunt. Again, Brunt just sends it aimlessly down the right hand side. But who knows? A couple more clearances like that might be enough. Dewhurst again to the back line. He's missed by the Barnet player. Lucky Bird retrieves it. Plays it off of Stead into touch, throw into the shot. Ryan Jones scurries over to get it. It might not be any goals tonight for shots, it might not be any points, but it's been a performance of character. Tetek already substituted, hands on his head, stood up in the dugout. Can the shots snap something here at the death? We're into the dying seconds. 1-0 down against the league leaders. Ryan Jones with the header. It's flicked on by Lackey Bird, who he's tried to flick it on. And he's only ended up heading it behind the goal. Referee blows right on the 94 minutes. And the shots have lost 1-0 to Barnett.